welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time of stopping by like this is your first time of seeing this ugly face <laughs> welcome to my youtube channel yeah welcome to larry's vlog welcome to the only sophisticated shagala's vlog yeah guys i'm in oman do i'm in nigerian um working as a maid in oman yeah shagala um and i create content on lifestyle like shagala's lifestyle vlog prank yeah that is what i create content on guys chit chat wherever to <laughs> so guys ah like i don't really want to shout guys hopefully you guys can hear me very well i'm so sorry guys if you have to increase the volume of your phone to hear what i'm saying accept my apology in advance um yeah because one of our daughters in law's room is facing mine so that is why i don't want to shout because she's at home right now and guys i'm so sorry for this my color block <laughs> this my color block i'm so sorry guys i know it's uh anyways i'm so sorry guys um part of my dressing i had to wear this clothes because of this is like this is the only um cloth and scarf that doesn't absorb it yeah the two of them they are the only clothes that i have that doesn't absorb it so that is why and the heat in my room is too much so that is why i had to wear this i'm so sorry guys so sorry so guys let me cut to the chase have you all have seen in the thumbnail enough is enough like enough is enough guys that i confronted my arab boss last week yeah it was last week um i confronted my arab boss last week about the things i have like i've been enduring i've been enduring in this house for the past few years so i later confronted her last week i should have dropped this video on was it on sunday but due to the work because i'm very i was very very busy throughout last week so that was why i was unable to drop this so that was why I dropped the random day in my life. In case you have not seen the um, the video, please guys, kindly go back to my channel and watch. Okay? Support your baby boo boo. <laughs> so guys, um, that one aside. So guys, I confronted my Arab boss about the things I've been hiding deep down in my heart for the past few years. And what are those things guys then um it is only two things though the first thing is about um should i say two yeah i can say two things now the first thing is um the way they receive visitors yeah the way they receive visitors and the second thing is um about the way they receive visitors and um the way they use plates let me join that one together that one is one like that and the second one is um about clothes yeah washing of clothes washing i'm coming back to that yeah i'm going to come back to that so let me start from the way they receive visitors and washing of plates inside the guys yeah she was very very surprised when i brought this up like she wasn't expecting it at all like she wasn't expecting it yeah i told her about uh, um and what even brought this this issue up they receive visitors and that there was very very stressed like very very stressed and when the visitors came my boss was like the visitors were telling my boss not to not to welcome them like not to prepare anything just to make gawa and um, fruit and my boss was like ah you know this i service of eating of arab people so and she was doing a service <laughs> so that was that was what happened at least to me confronting her so I told her about the way, like, I told her the way you people receive visitors is too much. Like, I, I, I don't think I can endure it anymore. It is too much. And it is not only that these people will only come here. Whenever they come like this, they are going to eat. Yeah, they are going to eat. Like, we are going to make, like, we are going to cook a feast. Yeah, we are going to cook a feast whenever visitors come like this. And also, it is not only one day you guys sit and accept visitors. Or maybe one um, once in a week or once in a month. You people accept visitors every day in this house. What happened? Are we the only people in this house? Huh? Guys, the way we receive visitors in this house, and you will think maybe you are making money from it. Sincerely, because we receive visitors every day. Like every single day. E morning, afternoon, night. So I told her, like, I don't think I can, I can endure it anymore. I don't think so. and the visitors we came and they won't even help someone all the plates 
they use like this they, they are going to put everything in the kitchen they will put their maids at their own house they will come here and come and eat and i'll be the only person to be washing everything like cleaning cleaning the surroundings and when since i've gotten to this house we have never ever go to other places the only place we used to go is um the only place we used to go is two of my um, boss family's house two of them are, and guys i also thought that, that and there are some people that used to come to our house to come and use a week i'm working with 16 people yeah apart from all those 16 people <laughs> there are some people that used to come for maybe one week some maybe two weeks some three days not only one p uh, one person no Sometimes a whole family will come to us and come and stay for one week or two weeks. What happened? And I'll be the one to wash their clothes, do everything. They won't even give me a helping hand. Like, so I thought I'm, I'm weak already. Like, I can no longer take this anymore. What happened? She was even surprised that I, I confronted her. She said, I told her, like, I can't, I, can't, I don't think I can deal with the way they are receiving visitors anymore. Enough is enough. So, guys, that is that on that. The, sec the second thing I confronted her about is um, washing of clothes. Guys, like, in this house, I already told you I'm working with 16 people, apart from all the people that I used to use maybe a week or two weeks or three days. I'll be, with all those people, and I'll be the one to wash all their clothes with iron. Like, how many is my body? Just look at me. Look at how tiny I am. It is this cloth that make it look as if I am big. I am very, very thin. Very, very thin. So I told her, look at me. When I came to this house, I wasn't like this, even though I wasn't that fat. But I wasn't like this. Look at me. Look at all the bones on my neck. What happened? I'll be the one to wash. And guys, I know some of you will be like, I'm the one that accepted this in the first place. I know I'm the one that accepted this. Yeah, because then I also confronted her. But because I just came then, so um, should I say I don't know my rights then? Because when I came here, I don't know anybody, both in Saudi or um, Oman or any other. I don't know anybody. Like I came alone. I don't know what they are doing here. So when I confronted and when I confronted her, then she said um, they are family. I should be washing their clothes whenever they come. And I was like, okay. They, so I was like, okay they won't be coming every day so don't worry and i accepted it then but never never i never knew they are going to be coming like every time every time every single day like every day every time there is no even limit for them like there is no limit so and if <laughs> So guys, I told her like i can't be washing their clothes and iron at the same time what happened and guys including bed sheets you know how, how heavy their bed um, how heavy their bed sheets looks how um how thick their bed sheets is i will wash the bed sheets i will wash bed sheets i will wash what's it called i'm going to wash the rug like anything washable in this house i'll I, like i'll be the one doing it men's job i'm the one doing it yeah including weed weed like i'm going to be uprooting weed like so i told her like I told her that El, how many shagalas are out there that are doing all this job? How much am I collecting? You guys already know the amount you are collecting in Oman and Saudi Arabia. Yeah, you already know the amount you are collecting here. Like the amount we are receiving. How much am I collecting that I'm going to be doing the work of a, of a man and the work of a woman together? Like, just look at how small I am. I don't even eat. Dude, it is not that they are not giving me food. I'm not that, that doesn't like their Arab. Like, I'm the one that doesn't like their native food. Yeah, don't let me lie down don't let me lie. I'm not that doesn't like their native food. So I thought like I'm, I can't be doing all this thing again. I'm tired. And whenever I want to spread um their bed sheets or duvet like this, they won't give me a helping hand. And if I go and call it as uh, um this person, please come and give me a helping hand in spreading these sheets. The way they are going to excuse their face, you will think maybe somebody mess at them. But you know, just like because I don't know, they are going to excuse their face as if I'm the one sleeping on the sheet. Or I'm the one sleeping on the, I'm the one using the, the duvet to cover my body. So I told her, like, I can't be doing this anymore. Enough is, ne enough is enough. I'm tired. I'm tired. Like, I'm tired, really tired. If you, like, if you can't put a stop to this, maybe you should just leave me. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going because I'm tired already. I came here to work, not to come and die. Not to come and die. So, guys, um, that was two things I confronted my boss about. And, guys, 
when we deliberated on this issue for like maybe 20 to 30 minutes or so though like i wasn't saying all this in arabic we have an interpreter because that that one too. and guys i forgot this whenever all this um our daughter-in-law went to their house you won't believe they will bring all the clothes if you if, you know how this daughter how arab daughter-in-laws used to go to their house maybe a week or two weeks or so they are going to bring all the dirty clothes they wore in their house they will bring it back to me to come and wash like that was one thing that annoying me that that, that even make me voice out so he said they are going to bring it back for me to come and wash and whenever people come here even though if somebody use a day here i'm going to wash the clothes i might not iron it because it, it is a day i might not iron but whenever people come to stay at our own house are we, i'm going to wash the clothes and iron but whenever our own daughter-in-law goes to their house they will bring all the dirty clothes back for me to come and wash so i told her that i'm already washing all this all this your daughter-in-law's clothes including their panties and bram they won't wash it so why can't they why can't they wash their dirty clothes whenever they go to their house like why can't they i'm sick and tired of all this nonsense so like i told you i don't i don't understand arabic to all this level so we have interpreter that is interpreting it for him it's one one of our daughter in law i like it i like i intentionally put her there yeah i intentionally put her there I cannot like I only understand the Arabic, but I don't know how to speak it. So, guys, when we let when we deliberated on this, and she told me, <laughs> though it was in vain. Yeah, I talk in vain. Maybe not talk in vain. Yeah, I talk in vain because what I wanted to hear from her that wasn't what she said about the receiving of visitors. She told me that is how she received visitors. Um, like that is how she been receiving visitors. So. They cannot put a stop to it but she said i should not wash the cloth of all the people that come here again if people come to our house i should not wash their clothes and all the daughters daughter-in-laws whenever they go to their house they will be washing their clothes i'm glad though even though it wasn't what i like what i predicted i'm glad at least two things left out of my work so so guys um I know some of us too will be going through a lot of this. I'm not telling you to confront your boss. Um, yeah, I'm not telling you to confront your boss. But at the same time, it is good to know your right. It is good to know your right, guys. Thanks for listening to me, guys. Like That comes to the end of today's video. If you find this video helpful in one way or the other, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications for you not to miss any of my videos. Oh, oh, oh. So guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. Please guys, don't forget to share this video and give it a thumbs up. I love you guys. And guys, like I always say, love yourself more than anything else in this world. Yeah. Don't allow anybody to love you more than yourself. Don't allow anybody to love you more than yourself, guys. Thank you guys. And don't forget you are beautiful in your own way. Yeah, you are beautiful in your own way don't allow bad belly people to discourage you you are doing good you are doing great like you are doing great and we are both going a higher way inshallah bye bye guys see you on sunday much love